Three. Three, five, nine. Please stand. Let us pray a novena to our Saint Joseph. Ask the Lord to continue to bless us, especially all the figure in our family, in our world today, that they are truly responsible for their vocation. So together we say, Glorious Saint Joseph, foster, father, and protector of Jesus Christ, to you I raise my heart and my hands to implore your powerful intercession. Please obtain for me from the kind heart of Jesus the help and the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare. I ask particularly for the grace of a happy death and a special favor I now implore. Guardian of the world incarnate, I feel animated with confidence that your prayers in my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love you bear to Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name, hear my prayers and obtain from me. Glorious Saint Joseph, through the love you bear to Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name, O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love you bear to Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name. Hear my prayers and obtain my petitions. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love you bear to Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name. Hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love you bear to Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love you bear to Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name. Hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love you bear to Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name. Hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. Today we celebrate Saint Jean Vianney, a patron saint of all pastors. So I'd like you to add extra special uh, prayer for me and all the pastors in our diocese here in Baton Rouge that uh, they continue to serve people wholeheartedly like Saint Jean Vianney. The entrance interphone today your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall bring out their joy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today, we offer this Mass to pray for the intention of Bum, Willette, Hodesty, Jackson, and Wright families. We ask the Lord to help us to be generous to the gifts that God has given us, especially for those who have people to serve, your own families, your own uh, companies, the people that you care for that your heart always burn with charity. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, 
to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest Saint John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant we pray that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. I have appointed you a watchman for the house of Israel. When you hear a word from my mouth, you shall warn them for me. If I say to the wicked man, you shall surely die and you do not warn him or speak out to dissuade him from his wicked conduct so that he may live, the wicked man shall die for his sins, but I will hold you responsible for his death. If, on the other hand, you have warned the wicked man, yet he has not turned away from his evil nor his wicked conduct, then he shall die for his sin, but you shall save your life. If a virtuous man turns away from virtue and does wrong. When I place a stumbling block before him, he shall die. He shall die for his sin, and his virtuous deeds shall not be remembered. But I will hold you responsible for his death if you did not warn him. When, on the other hand, you have warned a virtuous man not to sin, and he has in fact not sinned, he shall surely live because of the warning, and you shall save your own life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, 
teaching in the synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his twelve apostles and gave them authority over unclean spirits to dry them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The Gospel, the Good News of the Lord. Today we celebrate Jean Vianney, a very dumb, dumb young man who wanted to become a priest. Dumb because he's slow learning anything, especially philosophy, theology, and so it took him a long time to the point they bully him, if you will, that you dumb like an ox. You dumb like a, yeah, dumb like an ox. And he said, remember Jesus even used a camel or used a, what do you call that? The, um, the donkey to ride into the Jerusalem for that Good Friday or for that Palm Sunday. Even a donkey can be used in the salvation of mankind or of all. Then if an ox, I can do something with an ox. Jean Vianney, finally became a priest and then became a pastor. He well known as a confessor. He was sitting in that con confessional box for hours and hours. And finally, the town came back to church confessing. So, I'm asking myself as a pastor, coming here, St. Jared, what should I do? And of course, you know, it's not about bringing people back to church to look at them and be proud of yourself. I think that is God's plan. Don't worry about that. But my question is how can I reach out to my people right here in 70805? The responsibility of a pastor is like the first reading today. It's very scary. I want to read this so that you know how scary it is. The word of the Lord came to me, which is prophet Ezekiel. Son of man, I have appointed you to be a watchman for the house of Israel. When you have hear a word from my mouth, you shall warn them for me. If not, you are responsible for everything they did. Can you believe that? If they die because of their sins, you are responsible for it because you didn't tell them. So my job is not running around and working like a crazy man, building churches and schools, without listening to the voice of God. And my job is not just about hearing the word of God and listen to beautiful voice from God and do nothing with it. My responsibility is to tell you what God has told me for you. That's my weakness, if you will. You think I'm, I like to preach? 
but I have a problem of telling you what you shouldn't do <laughs> because I, I don't want to correct people. I don't want to tell people that you are, what you're doing is, is wrong because today maybe you say, who am I? Who are you to correct me? We have our own standard of truth, of right. Nobody can tell anyone today how to behave and how to live a life because we have our own set of truths of whatever you call that way of living. So I'm asking myself, how can I communicate with you so that we live together the God's messages? A lot of times I said, I preach not to you, but preach with you. You know the difference? Because when I preach to you, maybe you say, who am I? Who that guy? He's a young man, you know. But when I speak with you, maybe it's a better message. So I want to just let you know that I have my weaknesses as a pastor because sometimes I don't want to tell you directly what you should do. But I pray that God continue to work in me so that I could be a better and a good pastor for everyone here, especially those who still struggle with their own weaknesses as well. The second part of a pastor is not do it by yourself. You do it with your laborers, workers, parishioners. The, here it said that the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. I believe that we have so much, I call plentiful opportunities right here. And we need more laborers. And so my job is to call you, to invite you, to work with me for this harvest. We don't have to go too far to find God's work and mission. It's just right here. And so I pray that today, as we celebrate the Feast of Jean Vianney, or Vianney let us discern our vocation together and help one another work together for the common good, especially for those who still struggle with their lives. Now I'm thinking about my neighbors right here, Mr. and Mrs. Wright, who just lost their, uh, their son and they live right in the corner here. We need to support that family, mourn with them, journey with them, and even cry with them so that we continue to praise the Lord deep, deep in our heart without shame, without guilt. Uh, but we struggle every day to see our, our, our own weaknesses. So I pray that each of us can see our own weaknesses. If not, I hope that we'll be able to ask one another, hey, what do you think I should do? to obtain the kingdom of God? What do you think I should do to become a better Christian, a better person, a better parent, a better citizen? I, I feel like we hardly, rarely ask that question. And today, let us depend on each other, trust each other, and listen to each other, care like the pastor St. Jean Vianney today. Be patient to one another and listen and learn and love one another dearly. Amen. Please stand and let us ask the Lord to continue to hear us, our prayers and our needs. First, we pray for our community here, our neighbors here, our neighborhood, that we continue to live a life 
according to God's will. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who ask us to pray for this moment, especially those who struggle with their coronavirus, addictions, sickness, terminal illness. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all missionaries, all pastors, all leaders, that they continue to care for their people. We pray to the Lord. What else shall we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intention of this Mass, the bomb, Willett, Hardesty, Jackson, and Wright families. And I also pray for my friends who birthed there today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for calling us today to hear your voice, to experience your love and mercy and care. Help us to do the same to one another today. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received this bread to offer you. For with the earth and broken human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received this wine to offer you. For the divine and work of human hands, it will be come for us the spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in the commemoration of blessed Jean Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you might, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Jean Vianney, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as with our end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, a young man, Travis Wright, and all those we mentioned in this Mass, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in a hope the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles, St. John's Vianney, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sigh of peace.
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Communion and the form. This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. May partaking at this heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Blessed John Vianney, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. I know I have to remind you all over and over that we have Food for the Hungry, uh, right here in Silos Hall, every Tuesday and Thursday for lunch, so which is 11 to 1. So if you know any families need some kind of food, it's a hot food, it's a hot meal. Uh, Mama Sibel right here in charge of this too. So if you know any family, uh, please call them. Just make a phone call and ask them to make phone calls. <coughs> I know technology. It's only for those who are a little bit privileged. Some people, they don't have technology, so um, use your phone or just spread out the good news. That's, that's very good here. So thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourself.
the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy. Uh, just another note that uh, there's a funeral here this Saturday, uh, 9 o'clock visitation and 11 o'clock for funeral uh, for a young man. His name is Travis Wright, right across the street, graduated from our elementary school here. And uh, so we pray for him and the family. I hope everything uh, going well. If you have time, please come and uh, pray for him.